In this video, I'll be showing you how to make your preview window footage play a lot smoother instead of um, when it jitters. Now for this, well, this video, I'm going to put it on preview and put it on half. You can change this later after the settings have been, after you've set it all up. So first we're going to go to options then preferences. Now I like to tick allow legacy GPU rendering. This is just to render it later on, but I think you need to tick that anyway for another option to appear in the next bit. So tick that anyway, it'll give you some help if you decide to use GPU rendering. In some cases, it is a lot faster than CPU rendering, but the quality isn't good. It depends on the time you've got for rendering your videos. So let's go to the video tab dynamic RAM preview max this will affect how smooth your preview window will play now as you can see the default setting was I think it's 200 to 300 I've taken it up to a thousand just for the fun of it um, obviously only use 20% of your memory but I've took it to a thousand and you want to enable this to NVIDIA GPU Accelerated. If you've got an AMD, I think it um, comes up with something else, I'm not sure. But I put that on anyway. It helps video processing. It might not adjust the preview footage, but it'll, it should help. So this should be, yeah, default is 200 to 300. So just take it up from 200. Take it up to 400 and then check see if your preview is alright. If it's getting there, then just take it as high as you can and as high as you can. Now I deal with a lot of footage, so I took it to a thousand. Um, but the only problem is when you put the footage in, you have to wait for it to cache it a lot longer. But you get an accurate preview line, no stuttering, no missing that millisecond bit off that you actually need. So, yep, yeah, like I say, preferences, video, experiment with the RAM, and um, don't put it too high. I've got it to a thousand because I'm lazy, and it should help you a lot. It also helps if you've got the footage on a SSD or the new faster SSDs, the Evo, some of them, I can't remember what they are. And also for rendering footage, take it from an SSD to another SSD. And it should help you a lot better. But remember, the higher this is, the longer it's going to take for your footage to cache before you can edit it. I hope this helps you out. If it does, let me know in the comments. See ya.